So another question I see a lot is, why do you use Elm over PureScript? And why did you choose one or the other? Or potentially, why did you choose PureScript over Elm? I'm not going to address the second half of that directly. Um, cause, um, so the real reason I chose Elm over PureScript is very simple. When I chose Elm, I had not yet heard of PureScript. It wasn't on my radar, so I didn't know it was something that could be chosen. Um, by the time I had heard of PureScript, I was already fairly involved with Elm and Elm was solving the problems I wanted it to solve. So I had no particular incentive to, to move. Now, of course, that's me. And if, you, you know, two years later, two and a half years later now than it is now, if you've heard of both and you've looked into both, you might be thinking, well, you know, I should choose one over the other. So there's some obvious reasons you might do that. So the first obvious reason you might choose Elm over PureScript is Elm has guarantees that, that PureScript doesn't. While PureScript does have a richer type system, which may or may not appeal to you, depending on what your choice, what your aesthetics are, in Elm, because of some of the way decisions that were made, we can guarantee there will be no runtime errors. In PureScript, the way it does foreign function interfaces, you can just call JavaScript code. Now that makes reusing JavaScript, existing JavaScript components much easier, yay. But it also means that any bugs in those JavaScript programs, so in those JavaScript components, will percolate out into your PureScript code, or potentially could at least. So Elm solves that with ports by saying we're going to isolate the pure code in Elm from the impure code, similar to the way that Haskell isolates I.O. with monads in a very abstract, high-level sort of way, not in any sort of practical code way. PureScript just takes the opposite decision. Um, there are other pluses and minuses to PureScript, but that's what I see. Um, I would admit from what I know of PureScript, it seems like a lovely language. The Elm community seems to be larger and more active, uh, which is another possible factor you might, may or may not care about. But, you know, certainly if you're, you're just interested in languages, for the sake of being interested in programming languages, which is certainly a good thing in my mind, uh, it is worth checking out PureScript. Um, if nothing else, you know, I think the PureScript community and the Elm community, similar to say the Java and Ruby communities, can and should learn from each other. That doesn't mean that they should always take the same decisions on, this, on any given topic. You know, PureScript and Elm have opposite ways of, do, of doing foreign function interface. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I think both involve valid choices, and both choices involve some trade-offs. There are some good things and some bad things in both ways of doing it, but I think it's worth learning, being able to learn from each other. So that is why I chose Elm over PureScript. If you've chosen it for different Elm over PureScript for different reasons, please leave a comment below. If you've chosen PureScript over Elm for some reasons, ones I mentioned or ones I didn't, also please leave me a comment. I'd love to hear why you made that choice. Um, you know, maybe, we'll, maybe we can all learn something from each other. And I think that would be a definitely an improvement because it's the reason I founded this channel is to learn things from, to share what I learned with others and to help learn things from people, other people that I might not know. So if you are a PureScript fan and you'd like to tell me a bit about why I should pay more attention to it, please feel free to leave me a comment and I will certainly uh, read it and pay attention.